what's going on. We're hooked on to the dump trailer. About to go dump off some wet feed. And I know you guys didn't like it in the walking floor. Neither did I. Good morning. made it back to the livestock yard this is actually the exact same place I did my wet feed video in the walking floor which was a total mess but now we're back with a dump trailer full of wet feed once again last time I scaled in and out in Windsor but this was a really late load so we couldn't use the scale so I'll have to scale in and out here busy bit of a place this morning. Uh, yeah. Not the biggest fan of this super tight turn into here, but away she goes.
perfect. It's in pounds, but looking like a nice legal load to me. All right, let me go print this number down and I'll go over here and we'll dump her all out once again. Nice and easy this time though. All weighed in, scaled in, ready to go and dump her off. But I'm pretty sure Buddy's clearing me a spot right now with the loader, kind of like he did last time. Appreciate her. While I'm waiting for him to clear that old pile, crank this tarp open, get this lift axle up. Tarp is wide open. Now that I'm on this angle, all the gross stuff's leaking to the front and out the front of the trailer, so hopefully I won't be stuck like this for too long. Axles up, we're ready to go dumping. We are ready to dump. Check this bucket out. Grinds up all the potatoes or whatever is in it. Makes her a lot easier to mix and easier for the cows to eat. Unfortunately, my sunny side's to the wall, so that's kind of a pain in the ass. But what can you do? It's the way she goes. I gotta undo these turnbuckles. Turnbuckles are unlocked. I gotta get these gate holder locks unlocked. And then we'll be ready to put the box in the air and watch her all come splashing out. Unfortunately, I'm gonna now have to back through that or something. Realistically, they can push it with the loader. I wasn't really expecting it to trip quite like that, so. You learn something new every day, right? The most important part to dumping a dump trailer is making sure you got all your air out, truck included. Cause you never know when something bad's gonna happen. Drop that air. Woo. This is gonna fell over the truck. Back through it a bit. nasty stuff. Just keeps coming and coming. Big old puddle. So realistically this will stretch to the back corner so I didn't really have too much to worry about backing up more because this stuff's so wet and sloppy and gnarly. But I'm gonna get back in the truck, we'll dump her out, and then we'll have a look at the mess we've made. I 
looking in here. Oh, I got a little bit in the top corner. So there it is, dumping puddles. Literally just big, wet, sloppy mess of feed. Oh yeah, the good stuff. That definitely comes out a lot nice and easier than the walking florets for sure, holy. Alrighty, well I guess we can put this big box down. Alrighty, box down time. Well, don't even have to wipe off the tail lights, so that's mint. That's ready to lock. Put the air back into the trailer. As it sits down, I might as well go turn the hydraulic control off. And she's down. That back in the neutral. Come on back here. Put your air back in. Put her out. Or... There it goes. Pull her up. She's out. Here's your film over there. And now it's time for me to go scale her out. Air up. Hello cows, you guys liking that feed we bring? Well I hope so. Keep on eating it and we'll keep working. Scaled out, had 91, just about 92,000 pounds in the old box. Which I'm still sure is just around legal. I got to convert her over to KGs and see what we are working with. So that was nice, quick, easy. Definitely a lot better than the walking floor. Walking floor takes a solid hour, even if you do everything right. This dump trailer was up and down within five minutes. You really can't beat that. The only problem about dump trailers is if you get to a barnyard and it's really unlevel, then you're pretty much screwed to be able to dump. So that's why they use the belt trailers and the walking floors. But this place was dump trailer approved, so might as well bring her, might as well get her done. I couldn't really show you how I load this stuff anyway, not that I even loaded this load. Now we're going to head her back to the yard and switch to the old walking floor. And when I say the old, I mean the actual old walking floor. And I'm going to take in a load of tires. Give me something else to do for the day. Nice kind of easier day, been working pretty long hours, same with the rest of our guys. Busy, busy, busy. Well everybody, that's all I got for this week's video. I didn't even think I was going to be recording this, so unfortunately I had to use my worse GoPro, but still got the job done, we still got a video out of it, and you guys got to see me dump this wet feed finally, and not walk it over walking floor where it doesn't really work that well. So hopefully there'll be some more dump trailer stuff coming because you guys seem to like it a lot more than the other videos, which is all right with me. It's not something I'm usually on, but once salt picks up, we'll be doing all that stuff again. And we're actually looking for another dump trailer since we'll need four of them this winter, which is pretty mid. So like I said, I'm about to hook onto our old walking floor and take the load of tires in, but don't really need to show you that. You've seen that. Actually, it's like my third video. Go check it out old school horrible editing Stevens LTV. So my dad's out spraying, I'm going trucking.
we'll see you on the next one. Oh yeah, and of course, thanks for watching.